International Women's Day is a reminder of the imbalances, of the injustice, of the lack of equity. The fact that we have to have an International Women's Day is a big issue for me. I would love to see that we get to a point where we don't even need to divide these things up and create these separations. However, it's also a great thing because it brings us together to be able to share our stories, share our lived experiences and recognise ourselves in the other because sometimes I think, especially as women and non-binary people, we tend to feel that we're the only ones going through it. Biggest learning in my career, there's a few. Um, one of the ones I think I really want to talk about is the power of the ego. That, you know, I've worked in many, in, in a few industries where there are big egos that are the ones that are successful and get through things. And I don't think that ego is necessarily a bad thing, but I think, and I think because it can motivate us and it can keep us going and keep that fire alive in our bellies. However, we also need to recognize where the ego can come in and stop us. So an example is the fact if we think that somebody's irritated us, that actually probably what's happening is that we are seeing a reflection of ourselves in that person that we really don't want to admit to. And so we become annoyed and that's part of the ego or the ego being the thing that makes us choose one thing over another. So that, especially in the industry like ours, I think that's the one I would say is the power and the, the power and the myth of the ego. As an industry, I think that some of our biggest challenges is the fact that we still keep things in silos that we keep, this is, this is, this is a account handler, this is strategy, these are women in tech, this is women in advertising, all of those things. I think they fight against, they work against us. I think another thing that really does, um, does us a disservice in our industry is the fact that we focus on what things look like rather than what is the underlying intention. We talk about, you know, it's cultural fit. We talk about cultural norms. We talk about Gen Z, all of these things. And we try and put things together in these groupings. There's no one way to be a woman. There's no one way to be a man. There's no one way to be anything. And I think that's an issue that we have in our industry. My biggest inspiration are the people that I don't know their names. They are the backbone of the industry. If I could name them, then that turns it into something else. But there are so many unsung heroes, voices, lived experiences that keep us running, that we forget about or we choose to ignore or because we don't have the budget or all of these things. We've seen through this pandemic that we would not be anywhere without the nurses and the road sweepers and the, you know all of these people that are the foundation of what we do. And we get in, our ego gets in the way of going, well, I'm a CEO and this is another person here. I think that those people are the ones that I keep me moving, keep me doing.